What's going on guys, my name is Cyrox, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about the no signal issue with the Elgato capture cards. If the issue that you guys are having looks just like the one that you see on the screen right now, then this process should help you guys out a lot. With that being said, let's get started. So I've had an Elgato HD60 Pro for about four years now. I believe I got it in 2016. And ever since then, I've always had this issue with the no signal. Uh, I can only speak for the HD60 Pro because that's the only card I currently have. So if you guys are having this issue with other cards, maybe like the HD60S or the 4K60 Pro or the original Elgato game capture, this may still apply. However, because I only have the HD60 Pro, I can't guarantee that this can help you in any way. But feel free to try it. So whenever I turn my PC on and I see the no signal screen right here, the first thing I always do is I go to the source in OBS, which Elgato I have here labeled, double click on that, and then once you have it open up here, basically all you're going to want to do is click deactivate. Now that's just pretty much going to like shut it off, and then you can click activate again, and it's going to turn it right back on. Uh, if that does not fix your issue, then we're going to have to move on to the next step. If that does, great, then you don't need to continue watching the rest of the video. All right, if that did not work for you, we go to step two. Now, step two includes you opening a browser. I'll leave a link to this in the description down below, so you can just click that, easily get there. Uh, basically, this is Elgato's website, and they include their drivers for all of their cards. Uh, for our instance, we are going to download the HD60 Pro. Like I said, if you guys have an issue with another card, you want to try it, click whatever card you have, and you guys can try it by following the steps that I'm talking about here. So, like I said, we're going to download the HD60 Pro. Click on that. It'll open up right here, and we'll just go show them folder. I already have one before. I always use this because this happens all the time to me. Uh, so once you have that, basically what you're going to do is you're going to type in device manager. Now, once you're to device manager, you're going to go to sound, video, and game controllers. And once you're here, you're going to click whatever card you have. Like I said, I have the HD60 Pro. Now we're going to right click. This is important. Click uninstall device and then click delete the driver software for this device. Once you do that, click uninstall. It'll take a second here. Once that's done, it's gonna want you to restart. Don't restart yet. I always wait to restart. Click no. You can exit that out now. Now go to the driver that you downloaded. We're gonna come over here, click on that, open it up, reinstall it. Click next, installation successful, and now you're good to go. Now, if you notice in OBS, I'm assuming it's still either, most likely it won't even have your device there or it'll still say no signal. It's not going to work, so you're going to have to restart your computer. Now, once you restart your computer, we're going to hope that it works. All right, so I just restarted and we should be good to go. Yeah, there we are. So you can see everything. Everything works. You know, we're good to go. If that doesn't work for you guys, I'm sorry. Unfortunately, I do not have any other information on how to get it fixed. These are the steps that I take to fix it probably at least three times a week, unfortunately. It happens It happens pretty frequently. And I've had conversations with Elgato support, and unfortunately, it has never been resolved. I've even had to trade in my old card to Elgato, and they sent me a new one out and still didn't fix my issue so it's definitely not the card so i'm not sure what the issue is but i did see there's some people on reddit who are dealing with the same exact issue so i thought i would make a video and try to help at least one of you guys out there so if you did find this video helpful let me know in the comment section down below other than that thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video